Residents of flooded homes in Lonamtas provincial capital are now in the process of cleaning their houses after they were partially submerged by flood waters when a river burst its banks. The swollen river inundated large areas of the city, flooding roads and prompting some individuals to seek refuge on rooftops to ensure their safety. However, local authorities reported on Friday that the situation was gradually improving as the floodwaters receded, allowing residents to begin cleanup operations. With concerns of potential reflooding due to further torrential rain, both residents and authorities remained vigilant and prepared. <laughs> In a show of solidarity, donations of essential household items poured in on Saturday for distribution among the affected villagers. On September 12 to 13, officials from the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare delivered monetary aid and supplies valued at over 800 million gib to support individuals whose homes and properties suffered damage from the flooding, with contributions from both the government and the private sector. The region faced heavy rainfall starting on September 8, leading to extensive flooding in many parts of Lung Nam Tha's capital as the river overflowed the following day. Tragically, two women lost their lives and a total of 40,255 individuals across 48 villages were impacted by the construction of homes, schools, hospitals, vehicles, gardens, and roads alongside power outages. In response, provincial authorities offered shelter for those displaced by the floods, while some sought refuge with relatives. The province's Disaster Management Committee mobilized around 300 military personnel, public security officers, volunteers, and vehicles to aid in evacuation to safety. <laughs> To address immediate needs, authorities distributed food, water and essential supplies to households affected by the floods with medical professionals conducting health assessment where required. The Provincial Labor and Social Welfare Department will collaborate with local disaster management committees as well as a district and village authorities to provide necessary assistance to affected individuals. Following assessment of the damage and required resources, the department will submit reports to Provincial and Central Disaster Management Committee to secure assistance for the flood recovery efforts. Military personnel, public security officials, and other responders will continue to support impacted families in restoring their homes and aiding in their recovery. Furthermore, the department plans to allocate funds for acquiring equipment to aid the most severely affected households while collaborating with the Central Disaster Management Committee to assess the disaster's extent and provide necessary support to provincial officials. <laughs>